Off and racing in the sea heat. Uh, I'll be joined tonight by Michael Massini on the commentary. He's a veteran of the post. From the top, we've got Captain Murray of Diamond Valley, Scott Benedict of Ringwood, James McGuire of Melbourne University, Seamus Dwyer of Yarra Rangers, Liam Werrett of Collingwood, Jack Hynam of Glen Huntley, James Anderson of Yarra Rangers, Benjamin Lucas of Doncaster Athletics, Callum Day from St Kevin's, Robert Wheats of Western Athletics, and Tom McFarlane leading them through at about 36 seconds there. Right on about 74 second pace. Moving on, we have Darcy Williams of Wendoree, Michael Johnson of Richmond, Daniel Lawler of the Victorian Cross Country League, Glenn McMillan, Shepparton's Finest, Joji Mori of Richmond Harriers, Luke McElvenner of Athletics Essendon, Pete Chappell from Old Zavirians, Dave Parosian from Melbourne University, Tom McFarlane, leading, leading currently there, oh, in second, of Glenn Huntley, Jordan Mayston of Eureka Athletic Club, Damien Bruno of Athletics Essendon, Grant Simpson of Ballerine Athletics, Dylan Pereira of Box Hill, Ashley Hoffman of All So going through that first lap in about 74 seconds, which would get the boys through the 5K in around 15 minutes and 50 seconds. Amongst the top seed in this men's C race is Tom McFarlane, our current leader. Who else are we looking out for tonight, Whip? The likes of uh, Darcy Williams, he's in there with a 15.40 seed time from Wendere. Uh, Daniel Lawler, 15.55. Seamus Dwyer, the Yarra Rangers man, a, a 15 50 athlete. Otherwise, a few other individuals under the 16 minute mark, including Damien Bruno and Ashley Hoffman, 15 42. Like the pairing there from Glenn Huntley, McFarlane, and Heinem making uh, the early running of it. Looks like Heinem and McFarlane just sort of rolling turns here. Williams closely there in third from Wendoree. Spot on 15.40 pace currently, 3.08 through the first kilometre there. And Glenn Huntley boys looking like they're in charge, Michael. Look, absolutely, Sean and Darcy Williams of Wendoree is right on the heels as well. These three boys are amongst us highest seeded athletes in this men's sea race so round about on pace of their season's best or entered times for this event so we do expect a bunch of athletes as they have formed up the front of the field as we near 1200 meters Now, Michael, for those of our viewers not so familiar tonight with the 5K, it's, uh, it's a bit of, bit of theatre. It, it takes a while to build, doesn't it? We're in, we're in the early stages here. We've got everyone feeling out the race. What, what can we expect to see moving on here? Well, it does take a uh, true distance running enthusiast to enjoy a 5K, 12 and a half laps around the track. Having some interest in some athletes in the field does help, but we do look for the later stages for the athletes to sort themselves out and a few moves to be made. Often... We don't look to the front of the pack for the excitement sometimes. We look about five, six, seven deep for those cheeky moves, about a K to go. It's um, often easier to run the first two thirds or three quarters of your race to perfection, and then it's that last quarter or last third who well, we find out where you're going to run PBs or <laughs> where those champions come through with. Heinem there of Glen Huntley, a uh, metronomic thus far, ticking off 74s with uh, his club mate McFarlane just tucked in there behind. Looks like we've got an established order for the evening.
So still Jack Heinem and Tom McFarlane leading the way, all from, from Aubrey Athletics, Ashley Hoffman, one of the higher seed athletes, sitting nicely in fifth, sixth position there, just following the boys around. A couple of our Essendon Athletics runners as well in Luke McElvina and Damien Brunow are just enjoying the ride along the train there, just on the heels of the leading men. As they near two kilometres, five laps into this five or 12 and a half lap race. And McFarlane just moves up a little bit there, maybe helping out, maybe pre-agreed, maybe a little slump in the pace. And 15.50 pace we go through. So 16.20 for the first two kilometres, 3.10 per kilometre, if you're good at your maths, times five, 15.50. So they've slowed a tiny bit from that first K, just lost probably three to four seconds there on the second kilometre. So be up to McFarlane here if he wants a quicker time. Looks like he's going to have to do some of the work himself, which he's shown no hesitation with rolling straight back to the front. Another athlete looking... Pretty in the pack, Daniel Lawler with the number 13 hip number on from the Victorian Cross Country League. He is sitting about six or seven position and just enjoying his ride around a few laps at the Box Hill Athletics track as well, looking quite relaxed there. Maybe a slip of a second or so on that lap. Probably more 75 second. 400 as opposed to 74s. As we see, Tom McFarlane just put a couple of metres on his teammate, Jack Heinem, trying to keep under that 15.50 5K pace where the pack thickens behind him. As we move into, well, just past 2.5K, past halfway mark in this five kilometre event. McFarlane, an experienced racer. He'll know he needs to kick things along here a bit if, he, if he's after a time there. Darcy Williams moves himself up in a second. The, the youngster from Wendere showing uh, no fear at the front. Looks to close that gap, just get that elastic band uh, back in contact. And he looks like he's done it there. Encouraging signs from the youngster. Ashley Hoffman as well in third position. Come from Aubrey, running right, right for the Albury Athletics Club making the trip down to Box Hill well and truly worth it. He doesn't want to give any distance away to his Ballarat and Glen Huntley counterparts in front as they near 2,800 metres. And Pete Chappell there from Old Zavarians just moving up past a couple in the pack. Doesn't want to be left behind. Looks like he might go past one more here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well done, good predicting. We're starting to see that gap now. Just that top three starting to form of McFarlane, Williams and Hoffman. And if you're looking for a consistent pace, they would be looking to come through this first three kilometres in nine and a half minutes to keep that 15.50 5K alive. And they do exactly that, 9.30, 9.31, 32.33 33, as they go past the first three Ks. Glenn McMillan from Shepparton and Athletics passing the line now, as does Caden Murray of Diamond Valley. Just textbook from McFarlane. He, he's probably going to need a little bit of help here if anyone wants a bit more. He has led large portions of this race. We'll, we'll wait to see. Oh, little look over the shoulder there. Just wondering if he's going to lend a hand. The group three becomes four with Heinem doing everything he can there to stay on. Peter Chapel of Olds Variants in the black and red colours joining the boys is that in 
stick seventh position. Most this race, but now he's up on the heels of Ashley Hoffman and working to stay there. Pynum doing quite well to make that front five. The next pack we have, I believe it's McElvina of Essendon. Seamus Dwyer from Yarra Rangers, from Victorian Cross Country League. Daniel Lawler. Boys come up to 3,600 metres. Still McFarlane. I think um, Hynham's gone to move back around. They're running a little bit wide. He's got a, a second wind of sorts after some early leading. McFarlane with another look over the shoulder there. No signs of change in the lead. Remains metronomic in pace. And Heinem, not to be disposed of yet, goes round Chapel there. He is on this evening. As the boys near the four kilometre mark of this five kilometre race, two and a half and a bit laps to go. They'll be wanting to hit around 12 minutes and 40 seconds to stay on that. 15.50 pace if they are keeping it consistent and they've slipped just a couple of seconds, but it is a championship race after all. And we can see significant time picked up in the final couple of laps. Tom McFarlane is looking quite comfortable out the front, but probably wishes someone else would help him with the pacing as we see Ashley Hoffman of Aubrey quite close on his heels, as is the Wendery athlete in Darcy Williams from Old Zavarians, Peter Chappell. Peter Chappell just asking the question there, moves a little bit wide, wants to give himself a little bit of space as we come into this final kilometre. McFarlane's been an absolute metronome here. Hoffman, a brief check of the watch through the finish line. Possibly considering a finish time already. Damien Bruno from Athletics Essendon is just looking at the back of Heinen, wondering if he can pick up another position in this last couple of laps. And on the heels of him, Seamus Dwyer of Yarra Rangers, just following the lead of Damien Bruno. And as you say, Messini, where we're starting to get some separation on the back straight there. Chapel just falling off one or two steps, working to get back into into touch and there we have it that four regains its uh, formation again and we still have McFarlane at the front you, if you didn't know him better you'd think they'd all train together apart from the um, Glenn Huntley Aubrey and Ballarat singlets at different ends of Victoria but it is looking like a training drill here Tom McFarlane doing a lot of the work out the front and Ashley Hoffman almost going into lane two Sitting on Tom McFarlane's shoulder, almost just waiting for his time to pass him as they near the last 400 metres into this race whip. McFarlane, historically more of an 8.15 man, did his, uh, did his early trade at, at Halebury in the APS system. Will we see a kick here? Oh, Hoffman. Hoffman has just opened a can here. Turns out he McFarlane, was waiting. McFarlane, not happy, throws the hand up. Not sure about that, Massini. This is big. It is championship racing, man. Racing whip, they enter with a seed time, but the seed times are not shown. McFarlane has just pulled away here. He is, he is gone. He has absolutely rocketed away. That's Hoffman that's rocketed away. McFarlane holding steady in second position. As is Darcy Williams in third position, the athlete from Wendery. Peter Chappell from Old Zavarian still holding his fourth place as the rest of the field flood in behind them. Hoffman with a personal best of 15.42. He's going to need to close in about 33 seconds for the last 200 here. This will be tight. Watch the clock, folks. Just a reminder for everyone at home, it's a manually started clock, so don't take it as gospel. But Hoffman comes striding down the finishing straight here. The pride of Albury. Looking for 15.42. I think he might have a PB here. 
And 15.40 from the manual clock whip as Aubrey watches on the live stream at home, I bet. Tom McFarlane, second place in 46. And, and 47 there for Darcy Williams. And the lap scorers are excited. Couple of PBs to start the night. Daniel Lawler, very quick finish there, and his PB was 15.55, which we're sure he got underneath. Geordie Mason just coming in on 16 minutes there. Grant Simpson of Ballerine finishing strongly. Also, Simpson as well. Well done, Grant. Joji Mori coming in now for a strong finish. The athlete from Richmond. Caden Murray of Diamond Valley, David Parisian from Melbourne University, Luke McElvina of Essendon, Callum Day of St Kevin's, Dylan Pereira of Box Hill, Christian Wheats, Western Athletics. Just been corrected by one of our finishers there. It's, uh, it's Robert Waits of uh, Western Athletics. Michael Mastania, Western Athletics member himself, just, just getting the, the places mixed up there. 